Kerala uh, devotees who are going to uh, Ayappa devotees, you know, do they support uh, women entering or they uh, oppose it? Uh, mostly all the women, all the household, they do not accept the Supreme Court verdict on that. And they do not want to send their women to Shabarimala who don't qualify. And definitely the Kerala women support. Maitini, Maitini. Disturbance to us. Suppose a young girl comes, how we can accommodate? I so place her. You, you are talking only from safety point of view or dharmic point, point of view? view? Even, and also disturbing point of us. Because young boys, supposing a, a, a teenager boy, say 25 year old man, he is going after 48 days of Vratham to Sabarimala and there, if he sees young girls, definitely he will be disturbed. After all, he is not a saint. So that disturbance should not be happening. So basically they are also disturbing the devotees. So that is the reason why we are... Amiya Sarnam Ayyapa. My name is Murli. I have been in Ayyapa Bhakta for over uh, many years now. It will be my 34th year of going to Sabarimala this year. Wow. And uh, well, there is this contentious issue about whether women should be allowed or not. And uh, one of the things that is very intriguing is almost anyone and everyone has an opinion. People who are not even qualified or having opinion, they have made it into a gender equality thing. It is beyond that. This is a tradition that is over 5,000 years old. People were not even born and they are making opinion. There are some things we do not understand yet fully. It's a faith driven uh, instrument and that should be left alone. And I hope good self prevails and the truth will always prevail. And I strictly believe Tradition that are beyond our comprehension should not be tampered with. And so that is my humble opinion. Things should be left alone. They are beyond comprehension. It's very well written in the scriptures. And I've been going for 35 years and no one has ever complained. And uh, it's been smooth enough. And I'm sure it will be smooth enough this year also. Go only after 60 years. Thank you. If they are healthy. Tradition and faith are more important than any other judicial laws, etc. Actually, this is a case where the Supreme Court dismissed the case. They should not have taken the case. It's a religious, so religious faith. We have to give you rewards and respect for that. Now, we have got Hindu government. They value Hindu values and they should uphold that uh, tradition. And, uh, there should be no further review of any type of material and tradition will be continued. Because Sabriwala is not just a temple, it's a pilgrimage, like the Hajj for um, like the Hajj for Muslims and other religions. So there's a process to get to Sabrimala. You have to go through various days of journeying through the jungle and to do that you need to not be on your same menstruation because there's many jungles in the um, jungles. I mean, there's many animals in the jungles. So when um, the animals they smell the blood, they will come to you. That is one of the main reasons why women between 10 and 50, the period of menstruation, they cannot go because you can't tell when they are on menstruation. And if they go th um, through the pilgrimage while they are on it, then they're not just endangering themselves; they're also endangering everyone else around them because once the animal comes, they will hunt. Everyone. From that point of view, and also this is one aspect. Second aspect is people visiting the temple are coming after 48 days of Brahmacharya Brada. So when these people go there, their body is full of uh, Brahmacharya uh, wave in going in, and with that tapas they are going to the temple. And when they are going there, Women when they go, especially when they are in the young age, when they are visiting the temple, it's definitely going to affect their tapas. Women, they can enter, as per the tradition, they can enter only after the menopause. Before that, they cannot enter. That should be maintained. I believe in gender equality, and I believe uh, there should not be any discrimination whatsoever. But however, we, we also need to give importance to the ancient uh, procedures that have been formed for a certain reason. So I think uh, whatever culture, whatever practices we have evolved from, they have evolved for a scientific reason. For example, we talk about eating food with hands, using fingers, versus using spoons and you know, forks. So when, when we can understand the importance of that and when we follow that, similarly, why can't we practice, you know, follow the ancient uh, culture that has been uh, 
handed down to us from ages. It's, there's no gender discrimination involved there, and I think that is something that needs to be respected. You are a devotee of Ayyappa? I'm a devotee, devotee of Lord Ayyappa, and I've been to Sabarimala for eight years. Wow. I'll, I'll, you know, so. You're from Kerala? Or? I'm from Hyderabad, but my native is Tamil Nadu. You, you are a young girl, right? Yes. Uh, like, uh, you, do you feel left out by not going to uh, Ayyappa temples in Sabarimala, or how do you feel yourself personally? I believe Sabarimala it is a pilgrimage, and um, it is a blessing to go there, but I believe that Ayyappa is not just in Shabri Malay. Ayyappa is everywhere. As long as you think of Ayyappa, Ayyappa will be there. So yes, Ayyappa, like, yes, I can't go right now to Shabri Malay, but if I remain healthy, uh, by God's grace, after I'm 50 years old, because I haven't been there yet, so by God's grace, when I'm after I'm 50 years old, I can go there and maybe see Sabri Malay, but yes, I don't feel very gender discriminated at first. I felt sad that I couldn't go, but then when I researched and found out these scientific facts, I felt like there was a reason to it, and I believe that Ayyappa is here too in our temple, so if I ever want to go pray to Ayyappa, I can just come here or attend any Ayyappa program, so I don't really feel... So how do the women feel? Do they feel left out or...? No, not really. No one has left out. And you will notice, the ones who are doing it are mostly activists. They are politically motivated, they have some other reason. There is no genuine uh, genuineness in why they want to go. In fact, the genuine women do not even want to go. They understand the whole menstruation thing and why they should not go, they respect it. It's the troublemakers who want to go. These are the activists who want to go and that should be very clear for anyone to see. When you say women, there are the activists and the troublemakers, the real ones. I, I hope people distinguish, they see it for what it is. It's an attack on a particular temple particularly when there are some rules for the temple that rules have come for a reason uh, when you go to Shabramala for 41 days you follow a 41 days fasting ladies who have this menopause cannot finish the fasting when you follow this 41 days fast then only you are allowed to climb the Padina uh, temple and then meet Ayyapa so this temple has some rules and regulations it needs to be followed so there is a proper reason. There are many other scientific reasons, but this is one of the main reasons why Sabari Malay only allows men and women below or below the age of 10 and above the age of 50. So yes, I believe uh, there shouldn't be gender discrimination, but Hinduism is based on science, and science is just facts. There's no gender discrimination in science. It's neutral and properly based on facts. So we shouldn't just take into account that women aren't allowed, so they cannot enter certain places. And it's not just that, it's science. So you should, um, yes, there's maybe a reason why the protests are happening, but there is also a reason why the ancient, this ancient protocol has been placed. So I technically feel that this ancient protocol should remain because there was, um, there was a fact to it, and if it's enabled and women just go, then maybe women will remain like will not go when they're on menstruation. But if they are, then they will endanger everyone around them. And then, but there are five Sabarimala temples, like five Ayyappa temples. They like say, Tirupati is have, uh, like uh, Murugan is having six temples. Um, Sabarimala is having five temples, Achangori, Dariyangavu, Atapurai, all those places. Women are allowed to go all those places. Only in this place, there is a restriction in the interest of women, basically. But uh, people have misunderstood that. And the verdict is definitely it's not going to be a good thing happening for women as a whole, because it was created for some reason. And as such, I do not support women entering Sabarimala.